hi, my name is Dr. Sami Mubayad. I work in Montreal, Canada. I'm an uh, otolaryngologist, head and neck surgeon, uh, subspecialized in head and neck oncology and reconstruction of the head and neck, as well as facial plastic and reconstructive surgery. It's a pleasure to be here in uh, Rayhanli with my colleague, Dr. Haitham Al Shitawi from New York, who has uh, a subspecialty as well in head and neck oncology and reconstructive surgery to um, bring help to the um, uh, Syrian people that live here and some Syrian people that have been affected by the recent conflict that have crossed over from the border to come to this hospital and to get uh, medical help. I came from New York, uh, the United States. Um, I came with my dear friend, Dr. Sami Mubayed, who is also a head and neck uh, reconstructive surgeon and a plastic surgeon, uh, with the hope to um, provide some service to um, the patients in need in this part of the world. We have been working with Sam's and the staff here at the Alemin Hospital to help the Syrian refugee population that has been devastated by uh, facial injuries due to war. So far in two days, we have screened between 65 and 70 patients. We've already performed 11 surgeries, and at the end of the week, we'll probably have performed between 25 and 30 procedures. I'm just uh, walking into surgery right now, so we'll uh, give you some more updates. استقبلنا كثير من المرضى وفي مرضى وعدناهم مشان عمليات نحن هون تقريبا يعني شيء اسبوع يعني من يوم الاثنين الى يوم الجمعه مقدر انه كل يوم يشتغل شيء حوالي سبع عمليات جراحي الى ثمان عمليات ومنشهد كل يوم حوالي شيء 30 الى 40 مريض وانا هون بصراحه جيت مع الوفد مشان اتعلم منهم بعض التكنيك بجراحه التجميل وانقله معي للداخل وانقل هالتجربه للداخل محاوله منا لمساعده الناس في الداخل ان شاء الله This is a 49 year old male who um, had a uh, severe injury to the uh, mid face uh, the patient um, had a blast injury to his face that resulted in uh, avulsive injury to the nasal bridge and to the NOE complex, as well as loss of the left uh, globe. Um, when the patient presented to the clinic, he had severe saddle nose deformity um, and um, a prosthetic left eye. Um, we discussed with the patient uh, the need for a very complex reconstruction, uh, which would require uh, multiple stages. Uh, today the, st the first stage will be a reconstruction of the nasal skeleton using uh, a costochondral graft, um, then uh, resurface the uh, external skin with a forehead flap. Um, the operation went uh, very well uh, uh, and the outcome was uh, very pleasing. And we, um, the patient will return back in, in about three weeks uh, for stage two to divide the forehead flap.